salmon to me is is is, is the staple food of of who we are as a people. We it's it's the, the number one staple food in our traditional diet, and it's the most important thing when you ask any of our people. Is is the salmon is our most prized resource for my kids. That's why I signed up for the Batty program. I signed up for our salmon first, but and but more importantly for the future generations of our children and their children, so that they can, you know, enjoy the salmon like our people have done since the beginning of time. BADI stands for Broughton Aquaculture Transition Initiative. It's a program that started off with community action that led the nations to have government-to-government -government meetings with the province of British Columbia. It's a huge program that kind of falls into three areas. Uh, fish farm monitoring or impacts of fish farms on wild salmon, that has our teams going on the fish farms, doing sea lice counts jointly with the fish farm staff, looking at um, the fish health program is now operating. We're also monitoring their treatments that they're doing to treat the sea lice. We're looking during this out migration period, looking at the sea lice on the juvenile salmon as they're migrating out through the area. Then we have a whole restoration component where we're looking at eight priority watersheds throughout the three territories and um, looking what are the stocks returning to them. We have a unique partnership with the Pacific Salmon Foundation and we're doing a fish health program with them, which has Dr. Emiliano De Chico and his team partnering with the Batty staff and going onto the farms, looking at some of their more mortality fish and some live fish, taking tissue samples that are going to be analyzed for disease, as well as looking at the water samples. For our project, we're collecting EDNA because we are trying to understand what is in the water around the salmon farms. And so we can understand whether the farm salmon are shedding anything in the surrounding water. EDNA, it's basically the genetic footprint of every organism. Every organism shed uh, uh, hair, uh, skin, uh, uh, little cells, uh, and uh, all these type of uh, uh, things that get uh, into the water and we can filter the water and we can retrieve them uh, and analyze them. We are able to assess what's in the water around uh, and in some farms uh, so that uh, we can uh, predict uh, what can be shed in the water and then uh, affect the uh, wild fish. So the, the body program is all around salmon and, and, and how to uh, help these fry and, and if there's some restoration that we can do to, to help them. So I'm very hopeful and, and, and uh, looking forward to what this Batty program is going to do for our salmon and, and, in, and going forward into the future. This community is salmon people. Without salmon, their culture, a part of it is missing. It's just really an honor for me uh, as a guest to the community to be a part of this. I do have a hope, but we need to give them a chance. Right now our salmon's in, in uh, jeopardy of being extinct in these rivers and, and the time's now to, to do what we can for the future. <laughs>